We all like a good hotel and resort for our getaway. Some of you probably have stayed at the Hilton Hotel and or resort. Welcome to the BizPage channel. In this video, we will be looking at the success of how the Hilton Company became a popular hotel and travel business. Firstly, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below. Now, without further ado, let's dive in. Hilton Worldwide Holdings, Inc. is a multinational hospitality company that manages and franchises a portfolio of hotels and resorts. Let's take a look at the history of the company founding. The Hilton Company was founded in May of 1919. The founder was Conrad Hilton, who was an American hotelier and businessman. Hilton purchased his first hotel, which was the 40-room Mobley Hotel in Cisco, Texas. As the years passed, Hilton reinvested his profits by purchasing additional Texas hotels. In the year of 1925, the Dallas Hilton became the first hotel to use the name of Hilton. Two years later, in 1927, Hilton expanded to Waco, Texas. This is where he opened the first hotel with air conditioning and public areas and cold running water. In the summer, this was a real luxury. Fast forwarding into the early 1940s, Hilton added the Roosevelt Hotel and the Plaza Hotel to its growing portfolio. Both of these hotels were well established with high-end luxury, both less than a mile apart in New York City's Midtown Manhattan neighborhood. After obtaining the pair of hotels, Hilton established the first hospitality company to expand business across the United States. The company was then incorporated in 1946 as the company was named Hilton Hotels Corporation. Following the incorporation, the company began public trading of shares on the New York Stock Exchange. In 1947, the Roosevelt Hotel was acquired with television sets, becoming the first hotel in the world to have televisions in the rooms. In the year 1949, the Hilton Company founded Hilton International. This also came with the opening of the Caribe Hilton Hotel in Puerto Rico. Within the same year, Hilton purchased the Waldorf Astoria in New York. In 1954, the Hotel Statler Company was acquired for a price of $111 million. Back then, this was considered to be the world's most expensive real estate transaction. One year later, in 1955, Hilton established their Central Reservations Office, titled Hilcron. This was also the world's first Central Reservation Office. The reservations team in 1955 consisted of eight members on staff, booking reservations for any of Hilton's 28 hotels. Later, Hilton created a new program to ensure every hotel room would include air conditioning. Are you finding this video informative? If you are, then be sure to leave a like on this video and visit my channel for more content. In the year of 1965, Hilton launched a new concept known as Lady Hilton. This was the first hotel concept created specifically for women guests. In order to appeal the female travelers, a number of properties offered floors occupied by only women, along with distinct facilities for their usage. Four years later, in 1969, the first Doubletree Hotel opened. However, the Hilton Company was not partnered with the brand until the acquisition of the parent company took place in 1999. Entering the 1970s, Hilton purchased the Flamingo Las Vegas. This would also become the first in the domestic gaming business to be listed on the New York Stock Exchange. In 1971, Hilton also acquired the Las Vegas Hilton, which is presently the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino. In the year of 1979, a sad time came when company founder Conrad Hilton passed away at the age of 91. To honor the company founder, Hilton Hotels Corporation later created the Conrad Hotels brand. This is another successful hotel branch that is owned by the Hilton Company. Hilton Honors, which was formerly known as Hilton H. Honors, was the company's guest loyalty program. This was introduced in the year of 1987. Seven years later, in 1994, the Honors surpassed competing hotel loyalty programs by offering members both hotel credit points and airline credit miles. Let's look at some Hilton achievements of the 21st century. At the end of December in 2005, Hilton Hotels Corporation made an agreement to attain the Hilton International chain from its British owner, Hilton Group PLC. This came at a price of 3.3 billion pounds or 5.71 billion dollars. This new agreement brought the two Hilton companies back together as a single entity. 
The deal also included Hilton PLC properties operating as Conrad Hotels, Scandic Hotels, and Livingwell Health Clubs. In February of 2006, the deal was closed, ranking Hilton Hotels as the worldwide fifth largest hotel operator in number of rooms. Scandic Hotels was sold the next year in March of 2007 to EQT Partners. In July of 2007, the Hilton Hotels Corporation agreed to a buyout in all cash from the Blackstone Group LP and a $26 billion deal including the debt. This deal would make Blackstone the largest hotel owner in the world. Coming in at $47.50 per share, the buyout price was 32% higher than the closing value of a share of Hilton stock on July. The deal was also the peak of on and off discussions with Blackstone. In October of 2007, Hilton appointed a new president and CEO. The person to fill these positions was Christopher J. Nassetta. At the beginning of 2009, in February, Hilton Hotels Corporation announced that its headquarters would be moving from Beverly Hills, California to Fairfax County, Virginia. Four years later, in December of 2013, Hilton returned to be a public company. This second IPO in the company's history raised an estimated $2.35 billion. The Blackstone Group retained a 45.8% stake in the company. In 2016, the company made an announcement that Hilton would turn its hotel holdings into a real estate investment trust. This would turn the holdings into assets. However, before Hilton made the original announcement, the company had to consult with the IRS to make sure this investment trust could be approved. In February of 2016, Hilton announced its intention to spin off its timeshare and real estate businesses. The plan was to create three independent public companies. The spin-offs of Park Hotels and Resorts and Hilton Grand Vacations were completed a year later in January of 2017. As of 2018, the company is a fully independent publicly traded company, just like in the pre-buyout days, after the exits of Blackstone and HNA. At present, Hilton has around 575 hotels and resorts worldwide across six different continents. In 2018, the company made an annual revenue of $8.9 billion. Thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments section if you have ever stayed at a Hilton hotel and whether you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming content.